right, three, two, one, go. Well, good afternoon, ladies and germs. It is Friday afternoon at 418. It is a blustery, cold, rainy day here in the Houston area. It's sweater weather here. Depending on where y'all are at, we're probably either a heat wave or a cold spell, hard to say. But happy Friday. I hope you have big plans with your family this weekend. I hope you're going to do some cool stuff, um, get some re relaxation in, some good food, a workout, all kinds of things. Um, trying to get caught up with my Facebook Lives and my Instagram Lives a bit, so I thought I would jump on and just um, throw a few things out there to you guys today. Um, don't forget, next Wednesday night at 6.30, we're doing chiropractic, essential oils, and stress, and how we can combine the two to help beat stress. It is a stressful season. We're in the midst of the holidays. So I want to give you guys some tips today to help um, relieve some of that stress for the holidays, keep your mojo going, so forth and so on. We are at the end of the year. So whatever your goals have been for this year, I hope that you, you are continuing on with them and you're not setting them aside. Because like I said yesterday in the talk, whatever you do today, whatever you do now is going to set you up for 2019. So I want you guys to be really set, set up. And welcome to my kitchen. I am at home today. So you guys are in my kitchen today. So I hope that... Uh, Hope that y'all enjoy a little bit different, a little bit different view. So, like I said, so I want to throw a few tips out. I'm going to give out a couple tips today, and then I'm going to wrap this up next week. So I'll probably do half today, half next week as we move in and we get a little bit closer to the stress talk on Wednesday night. Um, and I'll also put a link in the show notes so that um, if you all want to come, you can and and um, you can see more about that. Okay, so. This is actually entitled to how to build a better brain, how to get our nervous system working a little bit better. Um, these types of things are going to help you during this holiday season to keep us from getting too out of shape and, and too much sleep and so forth. Um, it's going to help with the mental fatigue and fog, okay? And remember, anything to do with our brain has to do with our nervous system, right? And the healthier we are, the healthier the adults are, then, then the healthier the kids are going to be because they're going to see what we do and they're going to want to do that as well. And remember, we want to help a lot of kids. Let's help more kids, right? So, okay, let's do the first one. The first one is, it's no-brainer. You guys have heard all this stuff before. It's water. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. This time of year, there's the pumpkin spice lattes and there's the peppermint lattes and there's all the drinks and we're going to holiday parties so there's you know alcohol lots of alcohol flowing and you know eggnogs coming and all this kind of stuff so lots and lots of water to counteract all those other things that we're putting in right um, when we have a lot of water we get a lot of good flow of fluids in our system if the hydration flushes out the system, and that's what we need. Our energy will go up, and our mood will go up. So water plays a big role with energy and mood, okay? So lots of water. A couple tips. First thing in the morning, drink a big glass of water, you know, minimum eight ounces, minimum. If you can go 12, 16, in the 20s, even a big 32, your big gulp of water, and just put a couple pinches of sea salt, or the pink Himalayan salt in there, it's just going to make your body absorb the water a little bit better into the cells. A lot of times when we drink just plain water, it doesn't actually absorb into our body. It doesn't go actually into our cells. So make sure that you just put a little bit of water in there, changes the osmolarity, and our body will absorb it a lot better. So a little bit of salt in there. And my dogs are barking, and they want to go out, of course, because I just started the video. But they're going to have to wait a minute. Number two. Sleep, right? We stay up too late, right? Too many lights on in the house, too many electronics. I got a phone going. I got a computer going. I got two different things going here. So the, all the electronics, the lights, it's critical that we reboot, and we do that through sleep. Our body and our brain heals itself, replenishes itself, and reboots itself when we sleep. When we're learning new activities, our brain actually makes those connections and makes us 
have more neuroplasticity when we're sleeping, right? So get enough sleep, you guys. Seven to nine hours minimum at night. And if you feel like you need a little bit more, get a little bit more. So lots of sleep. Take care of yourselves. This is the time of year when we should be sleeping. The nights are longer. And it actually really suits our seasonal circadian rhythms to sleep more this time of year. Okay? And then move. Exercise. Don't lay off your exercise now. Don't stop going to your exercise class now. Don't start blowing off your exercise buddies now. Go to CrossFit. Go to Orange Theory. Go to the gym with your, with your pals. Whatever it is, get out there and move. If you have someone that you walk with, keep your walks going, right? So make sure that you're still moving. Movement is neurological, right? It stimulates our brain. It's great for our brain. And most of us are stuck at a desk this time of year. And with the holidays upon us, we're traveling. So we're in, a, in the airports. We're on the airplanes. We're sitting in our cars for a long period of time. So make sure that you're moving, stretching, and pumping that blood around. We want to be working out three to four hours a week. So three to four hours a week of movement. And, you know, if you're going to a group setting, it's really good for us because that's our, that's our com community. And that's what keeps us plug, plugged in, right? So let's go over those real quick. Lots of water, adequate sleep, and we're going to move. We're going to keep exercising. Don't slow down or stop your training or your extra pro exercise program now because of the holidays, okay? Um, and then the one more I'm going to throw out there right now is um, the fourth one. Keep the crap out. Keep the crap out. Um, and I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to finish that. So we're going to talk about when we pick up next week, we'll talk about food. We're going to talk about different types of toxins and how to get that negativity out of us, whether it's food, people, seasons, taking care of ourselves, so forth and so on. So the fourth one is keep the crap out. And that's where we're going to start next week when I jump back on and we do another one of these. So Next Wednesday night, 6.30, chiropractic, essential oils, and stress. And then actually, I'm going to do an online webinar the week after Thanksgiving. I think that's going to fall on the 27th. I believe it's going to be on the 27th. Some more information is going to come out about that on Monday. But it should be an online ADD, ADHD web webinar. The last one was a big success, and some people weren't able to make it. So I want to give people an opportunity to sit at home and hear some of this information. But I'll have more information out for you guys with that on Monday. So, again, have a great week weekend. Do awesome. Get outside. Move around. Drink some water. Get some sleep. And, again, move. All right? Happy Friday, everybody. Peace out.